and David Smurthway from Craven District Council who steadfastly supported the idea of Craven Arts House and helped us incredibly to get here. Uh, and I'm not going to forget the Craven Arts trustees and members who have worked their <coughs> socks on. So one of the main functions of Craven Arts House is to provide a venue uh, that has lots and lots of opportunities for young people. And uh, in 2023, um, a minimum amount of things. There's going to be all sorts going on. There's uh, a rehearsal room and production studio for young musicians over on the other side of the building, which uh, do go down there and have a look through the doors. Uh, there's a little bit of finishing off to do, as I'm sure you're aware, <laughs> but you know, we're on it, we're on it. Uh, we will have young curators exhibition opportunities and we'll have eight one month long artist residences specifically targeting young creators. I'd also like to thank um, Historic England, who provided a huge amount of funding and really understood what we're trying to achieve in Skipton, in terms of using heritage as the bedrock for what we're trying to do. I'd also like to thank the Arts Council, Nina, who's, again, really understood what we're trying to do and stood by all of the things. So, I haven't prepared anything. I just <laughs> want to say thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Thank you for everyone's hard work involved in this. Um, it has been a long period of time, but we've never <laughs> lost the vision. And I'm looking forward to having lots of new, young startup businesses in the creative industries in this building. I think it would be amazing for the town and for us residents as well. Because I'm cutting a ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way, Marissa. Mm -hmm. I just let you be from time. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get in the way again. No. <laughs> okay? Yeah. <laughs>